Each day that goes by, we learn more about the people senselessly taken from their families and loved ones. As we continue to honor the victims of the Headingham tragedy, we remember 34-year-old Mary Marshall. She was a Navy veteran, a dog lover, and a fiance set to be married in 11 days. And tonight only on WRL, her fiance and her sister are speaking with WRL's Chelsea Donovan, recounting the moments last Thursday that would change them forever. Chelsea. In six days, she would have celebrated her 35th birthday and five days later, her wedding day. Mary Marshall is described by her family and her fiance as loud, a big personality, the most caring and loving person they'd ever met. She was found dead on the Greenway. Her fiance says he believes she was caught by surprise by the shooter or she died putting up a fight. And I got a text from her right at five o'clock. It said, I just saw the floofiest pup. Rob Steele got a fun, cute text from his fiance Mary at 5 p.m. on Thursday. He never knew her next communication 13 minutes later would change his entire world. He said, I need you to come home immediately. Scruff has slipped his collar. He's running away and he's not listening to me. I'm up by the bridge. And I just heard gunshots. Scruff, her beloved Yorkie, was on the move. Mary chasing after him on the greenway near their Headingham home. I got a really bad feeling. And I tried calling her and it rang and rang. He arrived home to this. Police cars crawling everywhere. An active shooter leaving a trail of terror. Rob and Mary's family waited for three hours in agony. Then a detective approached. And he came over and he started asking us about tattoos that Mary has. They had found Mary here on the Greenway. Scruff, the loyal companion she'd had for 12 years, still by her side. And he handed me the leash. And he said Scruff was such a good boy. He stayed with her the whole time. He wouldn't let anybody get close to her. Mary's sister Megan recalling the phone call that would shatter this family's world. It's not fair that I had her for 34 years. You don't. He's not going to get it. His kids are not going to get it. My parents are not going to get it. The fiance she met during the pandemic now without his partner. I would live till I was 80 <laughs> so that she and I could grow old together. And I never once in a million years thought that it would be her that went first. Their wedding day, October 29th, now Mary's celebration of life. I wanted to be standing at the end of the aisle in less than two weeks. I wanted to see the smile on her face as we started the rest of our life together. And Robin Began met with lawmakers today and they plan to meet with more tomorrow to push, they say, as hard as they can to fight for more mental health resources in the state. They say to be they say they plan to be steadfast and stubborn because that's what Mary would have wanted. Back to she you. seems like she was a, just an amazing person. Chelsea Donovan reporting live in Raleigh. Thank you, Chelsea.